everyone, I am Apex Gamester, and welcome back to episode 19 on the Rack Pack modded server using the AT launcher. And in the last episode, it was a little bit mischievous and unleashed a few wasps up in anyone's base. As you can see, they are now gone. So he found them. Uh, he wasn't too happy about it. It didn't take him too long to get rid of them. A bit disappointed. Uh, he's pretty suited up though, so I'm, you know, he managed to cope pretty well. Um, but he told me that he, I wasn't going to get my stuff back. Like he was going to keep my spawner and my energy cell and my stuff. So, you know, we can't have that. So I'm just going to go and uh, try and find it and uh, and take it back. Uh, in here, uh, there's my safari net. So I'll take that guy back. Ah, I see. And here's the rest of my stuff there. 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 I can't see the conduit, but I'm not too worried about that. This is the important stuff. So yeah, he found it. And uh, yeah, I'm expecting a reply. Probably not in the too distant future. Um, so in this episode... What I wanted to do, let me just pop this stuff back in here. Here we go. You can go in there. Uh, where are my safari nets? In there. And you go in there. And the resident energy cell I need to put back in place now. How? See, it half. It used up half of its power. That's pretty good. I was pretty happy with how that worked out. There we go. So, I can hear a stupid slime. Where is that coming from? Now, I can use my sonic glasses to find out, actually. Up there, maybe. Let's find out where the... Uh, Oh, a to the left. There we go. They're in there. So if I take those off now. In this wall. Because this is going to drive me nuts. And this is a cool thing about those sonic glasses. So you can find... Mobs. There she is. Good stuff. Actually, that's that's quite a cool little entrance there. I kind of like that. I thought I might I might keep this as a, like a side entrance to the place. In fact, yeah, let's do that. Let's go grab a door. Let's put a door on there. Uh Carpenter's door, yes. And yeah, well, yeah. Let's just get some dirt. Let's just see if I can put some dirt on there. Let's make a dirt door, or maybe a grass door, a moss stone door. That might be cool. Let's try those two things. Do 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 do. There, how does the... No, you... no, you dumbass. Oh, because I'm not... I'm not holding the dirt anymore. There, so a nice little dirt door. And just to make it... Less obvious. Let's, uh... Put some more dirt around it. Get the idea. Jesus, I was scared then. He's got a creeper head on. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Slightly hidden. Do -do -do -do. 
little exit entrance into the the power room. So this thing, this earth essence thing finished just like, like I thought it would. So let's go down and uh, put that in. See if we can make it. Ah, there we go. This is the response that I was looking for. It seems... It seems like he destroyed part of his own piping as well at the same time. But yeah, this is the retort. Um, I mean... <laughs> Too sure I'm really that bothered. I mean, he hadn't destroyed. Oh dear, he's taken some of these these glass panels. Uh, enough to warrant me to make another response, but uh, I'm not too bothered about it. Let's hope he doesn't watch this and decide to do something else. Okay, well that's good because it means I can leave that part of the uh, episode out. Go ahead and do something else. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you something really cool. Now, I'm hoping that he hasn't messed with that as well. Uh, but up here on the map, and it does look like it's in pretty good nick still, there is an amazing plot. An absolutely amazing plot uh, that I want to maybe build uh, a home away from home in. So let's jump through this portal and take a look. This place is awesome. Now, we've got the sea. We got a couple of little islands. We got these two giant ass trees. Look at this place. Beautiful round pool here. Absolutely gorgeous. This cliff on the side here, another tree, another tree in the distance there. And you sort of you could come up here in your little boat. These greens. Look at this grass. This is gorgeous. And then you come through here and wow, look at this. Willow trees. You got fountains, you got waterfalls. This is just a freaking beautiful area. This is the most beautiful area I've seen on the server and I'm claiming it. This is mine. I am, I'm gonna build something here. Uh, may as well uh, start on it today. Um, we're gonna hunt around for some inspiration. You know, but this is what I want. I want to be able to, you know, be in a window like a bedroom window here and look out and see that view. Maybe just like one block down. Just one block down, please. There. Be like there. Oh, my days. Look at that. Especially when it's not getting dark. But this is going to be one hell of a place to, uh, to, to set up a little home. You know, just a little holiday retreat. I'm sure there's uh, plenty of beautiful stuff around here as well. Uh, there's a village. Look at that. Look. A village not far from here where we can go and uh, do some trading. We can make some friends. Build a pub. So, amazing. The tiniest little biome this thing is, but it is gorgeous. So, uh, yeah. Gonna jump back through the pool. Back to home. Uh, try and rebuild that uh, Ars Magica stuff. And kill this little guy as well. And, um, you know, get some inspiration and make a start on building something something really awesome. In fact, the one thing that does kind of ruin it is this. This slime island. Um, I may take this slime island down. Come on. Yeah, possibly. Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Also, there's some taint over there, which I'm not too happy about. Is there any other nearby? So we may need to work on how to get rid of this stuff. Uh, or build, or maybe just build a wall around it, because apparently that does work. It doesn't seem too advanced to taint. There's no, there's no mobs set in it. There's no, uh, there's no creatures. But yeah, that's probably something that we're gonna want to do. Also, 
There's a spider there and some spider webbing here. Is there anything down here? Let me get out some... Oh, no, it's a dead end. I was kind of thinking maybe there was a dungeon down here. Guess not. So yeah, I'm going to cut away, uh, make a couple decisions on what I think I want to do, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I am back, and instead of going off into the jungle and starting a new build, there's a one little thing that I really wanted to do uh, back here. I'm at pretty much uh, level zero at the mob farm. And in this safari net right here, you will read that I have a ghast. Um, because I want to make a uh, gas tier, you know, grinder. So I have this little setup in here, right at the bottom. And I'm hoping there's going to be enough. Now, when you get in here, there's a bit of a problem with the light level. But, you know, looking outwards, looking in, it looks fine. So, and most of our time will be spent actually outside of it anyway. So I need to get the piping setup done first. Because this is going to be the most complicated. Because... I don't know if a ghast works with a soul shard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the mine factory reloaded auto spawner for this one. Um, so first let's get the setup done. Now the power cable will always be the middle one. So the power cable will come through here and then it will go into the back of the grinder which will be there but then it will go down as well right there into which is not the center but it's going to be where the auto spawner is which will be there which will be met hopefully by the cable for the mob essence. Now I'm hoping because the 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 mob essence is going to be collected from the grinder here. Actually, so yeah, that one there is not needed. Because that's where it's going to be. Uh, actually, no, that is needed. Okay. Uh, that's not too much of a problem. And then the item essence will come from there. And we'll go in that direction. Uh, if I just switch to a darkling... The cables will come out in this spot here. There. Uh, you'll come this way. The torch. And the power come this way. Just like that. Uh, get the items. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, bit glitchy. There we go. Just like that. Oh, come on now. Power, just like that. And items. Just like that. Not bad. So that should be the setup there. Get that thing there. Uh, also, I will need that guy out for a switch. And I'll need covers and various things, uh, which I will get to at the end. I want to make sure this thing is spawning first. Well, I probably won't be able to do it first. So, I think it's probably best if it comes out of the side here. Maybe there. 
No, I think... Here, while the uh, Wither Skeleton Spawn is there working away. Yeah, I think here's probably the easiest if I can get in there. There we go. So, it needs to go out, and then it looks like it needs to go down one. Unless... What I'm actually going to do is... Come on, break you. Go down one. Like this. Uh, still going to need to go down one, it seems. Come on now. Nearly there. Oh, steady. Of course, I can't freaking see. Uh, then let's go meet it this way. Come on now. Don't be like this. Oh my god, I can't fucking control this thing for shit. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just stay up there. Yeah, it's going to need to be one more out. Okay, you know what? I don't need to be a darkling anymore. Hey guys. Sounds like they're having fun in there. Yeah, so one more in this direction. Then it's going to need to go down at least one. I think that's it. So, off of. I'm gonna lose it. There. Come on. Nearly there. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Should be able to just reach from there. There we go, that's better. These guys again spawning away. Okay, now the hardest one's out of the way. These should be pretty easy just to link up. And then you go down one. And then we carry on like that. I think I'll probably save building off in the other direction for the next episode. I think I'm going to dedicate a whole episode to that. Um, I want to make a nice little place to stay, to get away from it all. To get away from the, from the shenanigans. There we go. Now you can go down one. And then link up like this. Okay, so that's that hooked up. I get rid of that as well before that bugs me. It's not the most beautiful setup. But uh, put the grinder on there. Turn you around so it's powering up. Uh, bang you onto extract. Put in. You. So that looks like that's going to work. 
then I'm going to need to close this area off, actually. That would be a good idea. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So, I'm going to put some double doors in there. Uh, I would like some windows in there as well. But I'm not sure how the light level is going to be... I may as well just do all this on camera, it's fine. Uh, there, a window there, and a window there. Now the problem that we have, of course, is that these things break blocks. Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. I give up. So, what I want to make sure is that they, that they don't see you. That's not too many. Yeah, I want to make sure that they don't, like, actually see us. Uh, uh, through, like, the door or whatever. I think they need a direct line of sight to actually... Uh, use their fire charge, so there. If I could grab some windows, it's not hard for me to do. Just jump through the porthole. Grab some doors. Uh, I got some redwood doors there. Have I got anything else? Ooh, bloodwood door. That would be kind of cool. Uh, I think I may just go for the carpenter's block doors and use, yeah, grab two of those and just use uh, what I've already got here, the nether brick. Come on then. Just like that. Um, <laughs> I might change that. I think it kind of looks a bit silly. No, not pipes, you imbecile. Three, four. One, two, three, four. So. Ooh. Like that. Oh. Oh, I like that. So, let's check on the light level, which is 11 in here right now. Now it's three... I don't see that they would have any problems spawning in here. So standing here is pretty much zero. Um, I think that they do kind of they do spawn in light though, don't they? So let's see if I can't just put a couple of those guys there. The darkness of the um the thing doesn't make it easy. So Plonk down the spawner. Uh, it's not getting the essence. It is the problem. No, that was a worry. So what I will do is... I bought a backup anyway. So get rid of all this. This is all unnecessary, then I don't want to use it. Uh, that bit certainly isn't necessary, neither is that. So, seal all that up, seal all of this, and then just use here. Is that actually, that's nowhere ne even near the center. Let's move it just one across. This will be fine. And then I have my ender tank, which is coming off of the top. Set that on to extract. I think that's right. Yeah. And then pour that in. And we're getting stuff. So this is going to start to spawn. So what I need to do is I need to go and get some covers. Should be in here. A 
couple of those guys. Uh, I need to change that door as well. I might need that one. And then to tidy things up, I'll use them. And those if I need to, but I shouldn't have to. So... Uh, also, while we're here, let's change the door. Find what material we want to use for this. Oh, did I just take some of the floor out as well? I'm so unprofessional. So I got these covers. Nicey nice. There we go. So that's all now enclosed. Oh, Jesus. Is that the best I can do? Seriously, is that the best I'm going to be able to do here? You know what? It's not too bad for now. For now, I'm not going to keep it like that, though. There's those guys. Let's... Plonk in that guy and get the hell out. Okay, now we just sit and wait. Come on, Casty. Come on. Oh, there we go. There's a ghast. Oh, yes. Check for items. Here we go. Oh, it's on. Oh, yes. So we have gas spawning. Wait for those guys to come up here. Come on, items. Come on. I see them, I think. No, maybe. They're spawning heavily down there. This is good stuff. Come on. There we go. This is what we're looking for. These are the things we were looking for. Where'd they go? In here. There it is. Gas tears. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what went in this one. But we have gas tears, guys. It is a success. And I think... And they don't see me. So they don't try and hurt or anything like that. So, I mean, that's good. That is good times. Gas tears all round. Well, just for me. Oh, he has a cool hat on. Um, the last thing I want to do is find a texture for uh, maybe tainted soil. Let's take four of those just in case. Or maybe netherrack. Let's have a look. I can still hear them. So let's try with the netherrack. There's a netherrack door. The tainted soil door. I actually kind of prefer... The oh shit! <laughs> that is not what you need to happen right there. Okay, I need a shovel. God. Okay, I got one of these guys. It's all good. And where's that door? There we go. So, guys, that is it. In this episode, we made a freaking gas spawner. That is good stuff. And it seemed to be getting pretty good rates out of it as well. Um, I'm not sure how the extraction on the grinder is going to affect things. I probably should make myself a little access. But I'll do that in another episode. So, for now, probably going to leave it there. So, thank you very much for watching. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it. I mean... Come on, we made a gas spawner, for Christ's sakes. It's good stuff. 
<clears throat> see how many we've got up here. Um, but yeah, just give the old video a quick thumbs up. It doesn't take any effort. It really helps me out. Seven gas tears. This is great. Oh, Jesus. We are getting tons of gas tears. All good. So thank you again for watching. Like if you liked. Subscribe if you really, really, really liked. And as always, I will see you next time.